for ne members of Nemesis 2590, and today we'll be making a wobble bot. Please make sure you have the following materials in your kit before we begin. One CD, one plastic dome-shaped lid, a 1.5 to 3 volt DC motor, a button switch, two googly eyes, two velcro strips, one battery holder, two associated AAA batteries, a piece of wire, and one rubber eraser. And please make sure that you have your tape. First, pick up your wire. Bend each side of the wire into a shape resembling a U. Attach one end of the wire to the button switch and the other end to the motor. Upon completion, uh, upon completion, pinch the wires closed. Uh, connect the wires on the battery holder to the motor and switch to create a circle of the battery holder, switch, and motor. Please proceed to place the batteries into the battery holder. Attach the white eraser to the pointy end of the motor. Look for a small hole that should be on one side of the eraser to make it easier to push on. After completing this, place two Velcro strips on either side of the motor. Poke the eraser through the center of the CD and secure it. Secure the battery, battery pack with tape to both the motor and the CD. After this, take the plastic cap onto the top, pulling the button through the hole on the top. Finally, tape on the googly eyes to the plastic cover. After you've completed it, turn on your wobble bot and see how it works. The motor here runs on electricity. When you turn the robot on, the battery pack powers the motor, making the motor spin. Electricity is stored by the battery, which goes through wires and flows through the motor. The reason the wobble bot wobbles is because there's a weight attached to the end of the motor, causing the robot to vibrate and wobble while moving. Take off the eraser and see what happens. The robot probably won't wobble. This is because the eraser, when, when the eraser is on, the eraser rapidly moves side to side, causing the robot to wobble. 